of mine, who was also the guitar player in the band, turned me on to this band called Atrocity, and I'm like, God damn, who are these guys? They're killer. I think we did those festivals with them, and then they, in between the festivals that we did with them and the tour that we did, in between there they went and did their album in Florida, and, and then they came back. It's hard to bring new, weirder things into something like metal. People aren't always accepting of it. But you know, that's part of being experimental, which Atrocity certainly was that. In the 1990s, I mean, they, they were one of the first, if not the first. And uh, uh, yeah, Entombed was not that technical, so, so they opened new ways for us yeah, as well. But uh, it was just fabulous music, man, and I, something that really uh, was kind of influential from my guitar playing even back then. For us it was a big success. We had a possibility now to get on tours and getting also some attention in the magazines. Weil eben Giga damals so in dieser ganzen Death Metal Szene der Kult äh, äh, Künstler war. Ruft mich an, ja, er hat das Cover. Dann sage ich, wie, äh, wie das Cover? Er hat jetzt ein Cover von die Platte von Haro Giga. It was quite an effort to get through to him. Uh, I was calling uh, quite a lot of people until I get his number. <lacht> Yeah!